Current regulations often prevent qualified interior designers from competing on an equal playing field with other design professionals, like architects and engineers, which hurts small businesses and reduces consumer choice. Enacting reasonable regulations will secure equitable access to the design marketplace for interior design practitioners and ensure that only competent and qualified designers work independently in code-regulated public spaces where design impacts large numbers of people. Spaces like hospitals, corporate offices, and hotels. Reasonable regulations protect the public. In addition to enhancing the aesthetics of a space, qualified interior designers draft construction documents and apply applicable building codes, laws, and regulations. They are formally educated, trained, and tested to independently design non-structural, non-load-bearing interior construction elements. These designs often require complex documents to be submitted to a building department in order to obtain building permits. Unneeded bureaucracy in obtaining building permits can increase the cost and duration of design and construction projects, impacting the client's bottom line. For example, to submit their designs for permit, qualified interior designers need a government-issued stamp or signing authority for building department plan review. In some states, antiquated and protectionist regulations restrict an interior designer's ability to obtain that authority. Reasonable regulations would give qualified interior designers the ability to stamp or sign and submit their own construction documents without paying other professionals, like architects or engineers, to supervise, review, and stamp their work, which often passes unnecessary costs on to clients, all for something interior designers are already educated, trained, and tested to do. Most interior design firms are small businesses, not large corporations, they can't afford to be subjected to these additional, unnecessary, and costly bureaucratic hoops. 83% of design firms have four or fewer employees, and 8 out of 10 are female or minority-owned businesses. Added expense from regulatory bureaucracy hinders these small businesses' ability to grow, succeed, and add to the economy. Government regulation for interior design will not restrict people from selecting fabric patterns or paint colors. Reasonable regulations, like voluntary state-level interior design registrations, ensure that only competent professionals can independently work to design code-regulated spaces. Regulation also makes sense because, without government authority to sign or seal their own construction documents, qualified interior designers are barred from independently submitting drawings for permit and competing equally in the design marketplace. Let's enact reasonable laws and regulations that ensure equality of access to the marketplace for small businesses and that reflect the important role qualified interior designers play on the design and construction team. Please visit cidq.org slash ID regulation to download a fact sheet and learn more about reasonable and needed interior design regulation.